Hey guys. John Bow is in the box seat to win this title, and this is really the category that reminds us of yesteryear, but under the bottom of some of these things, it's not yesteryear, it's very modern. Oh, there's a lot of modern engineering in these things, uh, you know, the, the cost of uh, components have to be made in a lot of instances for engines. Makes them quite expensive, but they're very reliable, and that's great. And that's what they've done in this category. It's not strictly historic racing, it's kind of historic slash modern. Nigel Benson will be on board in the HQ Banana, second in Class B, coming into this one. It's a massive build of cars, great riding. We should point out too, Glenn Seaton not starting the Falcon, had a drama yesterday. John Bauer, Andrew Reneke pulling up to the front row of the grid. Sure, which places? Yeah. It's Brad Tilly, Eddie Albanese on road two. There's one of the Porsches with Greg King. They probably need a bit of help. They might need a turbo whacked on the back of that thing to keep up. Oh, yeah. That, every chance they can nose off, I think. John Bauer on pole. He's a winning win. He's won 14 races from 20. This year, you think he'd share. He's a show off. <laughs> and he loves it. <laughs> he has been really the fourth man in the car they call Mustang Sally. Great field of cars, great variety. We've got Monaros and Camaros, Falcons. Charges, Greg Crick's been able to push the Mopar back car further up the grid, Porsches and Mustangs and HQs. Final race of the weekend, the Touring Car Master will wind back the clock just a few decades. Remember how it used to be and how it still is at our panorama. Bauer and Maniki, Tilly and Apple Lisa, Claudia Ford to the front, can the GM products work their way through? 